reading the papers that uh, His Honor the Mayor has spoken in opposition to this, but I think it would be the most equitable situation to solve your financial problem. Uh, people who earn their living in our city, they use our parks, our streets, and all of the other things provided at the expense of the city, and pay no revenue whatsoever for the support and the upkeep of these things. I can see loads of constitutional error in the proposal uh, to assess an income tax and ameliorate another tax base by the amount of the assessment. First place, I think it's a direct violation of the constitutional provision for equal taxation. Uh, I do agree with the council that the tax base has got to be normalized and that the city has to collect whatever money is required for the needs of the city. This, this isn't my objection. Chuck, it's almost a cliche question, but you all, you always want to ask any uh, rookie in his first year in pro ball, how has it gone so far? It's pretty tough. I wouldn't lie to you. It's, uh, it's a lot tougher than I expected. Uh, of course, you know, college football is uh, played by quite a few people, uh, young men across the nation, but pro football is not, uh, it's not uh, close to it. It's, uh, it's quite a bit uh, rougher and, uh, than college football. When you say tough, are you talking about the intellectual aspects or the actual physical portion of the game? Well, really both. Uh, it's complicated. Uh, I know our offense here is extremely complicated. Uh, the only way that I've been able to keep up is just by studying and studying the plays and, and uh, trying to keep up on it that way. But uh, then again, I can't overlook the physical aspect because uh, uh, physically it's, uh, it's tougher too. Not a whole lot of nightlife involved in training camp, is there? <laughs> no, <laughs> there the is. There sure is. We have a 10:30 curfew. You know, we have to keep, and uh, it cuts down on any nightlife we might want to have. Are you optimistic about uh, not only your chances but also about the ball club? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I really am. I think that uh, first of all, my chances. Um, we've got a lot of receivers here, and, and uh, they're all good. Uh, you know, when I came out, I, I was hoping that I wouldn't have a whole lot of competition. I was, I was hoping that I could step in and and maybe start or be a backup behind Garrison. And as it looks right now, uh, that's where I'll be as a backup behind Gary Garrison or, or either a backup over at the uh, other side. Uh, and as for our team, I, I really uh, am optimistic about it. I think we have a real good team, and, and uh, it's a young team. It really is. We've only got a, uh, just a few of the older vets on the team, but uh, you know they're the great ones. And so I'm, I'm really optimistic about this year's future. that we have studies which indicate we currently have 80,000 vehicles a day on the Dallas-Fort Worth Turnpike. Uh, we anticipate traffic will increase to 130,000 vehicles per day on that road when it becomes free. Now, that's an enormous amount of traffic. That's more traffic than that road is designed to handle. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to look ahead, and we're trying to see if we can meet some of the future transportation needs of this area, these critical transportation needs, uh, before, before that uh, cr transportation crunch comes on us. Now, in doing this, we are cooperating fully with the Highway Commission. Two of the members of the Highway Commission were at our last board meeting. They're being kept fully apprised of what we're trying to do up here. And we're not going to do anything without the support of the, of the, of the users of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, unless it looks like it can uh, have a good economic basis of payout, such as the present Dallas-Fort Worth Road.
service charge on which I have made my recommendation. May I move the um, toll that the uh, matter of bed for another year? Second vote. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? to authorize the state of Dallas to petition the trial court for leave to intervene in order that a final plan be ordered, which will, A, eliminate any vestige of a dual system of education, B, provide a high quality of education on an equal basis to all citizens of Dallas, and accomplish the above in a manner fair and equitable to all areas of Dallas to eliminate any vestige of this dual system, provide high quality of education on an equal basis for all citizens, and finally, accomplishing it in a manner that's fair and equitable to all areas in Dallas. This everybody ought to buy. <laughs> I will continue to represent our case to the administration and to the agencies responsible and uh, try to enhance their understanding of the extent to which busing denies us the opportunity to get a quality education for our students at a reasonable price. This I have done in the past and this I will continue to do. Obviously, there is nothing I can do in so far as the courts are concerned. I have no influence over the courts, and I have no influence over matters that are currently in litigation. Senator, there's been a lot of talk in the area in reference to the fact that the Supreme Court is now a body that just does not uh, uh, have any checks and balances. Can you comment on it's that? It's totally unresponsive to the popular will, and in my estimation, uh, it's far too liberal constructionist. Now, I will say I think that the character of the court has improved somewhat with the Berger and Blackman appointments. Uh, I think uh, it could improve still more. Several Internal Revenue Service employees have a new idea. They'd like to wipe NAIR on and wipe their president out. The NAIR I'm talking about is the National Association of Internal Revenue Employees, meeting this week in Dallas at the Fairmont Hotel. Just four years ago, this group decided to hire a full-time president of their organization. They paid him $24,000 a year. Now this year, meeting here in Dallas, six others want that job, taken away from incumbent Vincent L. Connery. 
There's handshaking going on around here at the hotel. Placards, buttons, and handbills are here, but officials are hoping to keep them at a minimum. We don't know who will win, but you'll find out on Wednesday. This is Dean Angel waiting to see just who Nair wipes in as president.